Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, blockchain, NFTs, metaverse. It's going just too fast to make sense of it. So I'm here to help. Too much in here. What's up YouTube? I've missed you. This video is all about cryptocurrency. And you might be wondering why we are now talking about this. Well, it's because this new medium of payment has been here over a decade and it's going to have major impacts on how we spend our money and how we perceive value. Cryptocurrency is a decentralized and virtual form of money or currency that you can use online to purchase product, services and complete payment procedures. So let's break that up for a minute. Crypto is decentralized, which means it doesn't rely on any third party and it isn't influenced by any government or central authority. Unlike the usual means of payment that we use like dollar or euro that completely depend on governments and banks. I mean, think about it. They control how we spend our money, what we spend our money on. They can even impose limits on how much we can spend and withdraw on a daily basis. And don't even get me started on technical issues and the paperwork required to open an account. Have you ever received this message? We are sorry, but all our online services and all our ATMs will be unavailable on September 12th, 13th, and 14th, which by the way was a weekend. What do you want me to do on the weekend if I can't use my money? I mean, you want me to sleep? What do you want me to do? All right, and that's not it. Finally, they also impose fees on transfers and they delay the transfer considerably. In Ghana, it takes up to three days to complete a normal bank transfer is not a solution. Frankly, it isn't. Now, crypto, on the other hand, have no spending limit, almost no delay, low fees for transfer, and you have control of your account 24 seven. And anyone can start using it without the, all the required paperwork required by the banking system. You just need an ID card, a photo of yourself, an email, phone number, and all will be protected behind an alias. So you can open your own cryptocurrency wallet right now using cryptocurrency management apps like Binance. Well, you might be wondering if governments, banks, and legal authorities are taken out of the equation, how does this whole thing work? Well, it's based on a system called the blockchain. It's a gigantic ledger and listing all the transactions involving cryptocurrency. Well, that is the blockchain. So whenever you send 20 Afro coins to join, the blockchain is going to record that 20 coins have been removed from your account and 20 Afro coins have been added to joint account which is basically what a bank does, right? So what is the difference? Well, the difference is that that information is not stored on a single server owned by one authority or one bank. It's going to be replicated on all of the computers involved in managing cryptocurrency transfers, which is going to make it much more secured and allow you to have access to it at all time. To make sense of this, imagine if I hacked into your bank servers to remove one zero from your total balance. You just lost 90% of the value of the money in your account. Now imagine if this was happening on cryptocurrency wallets. Because cryptocurrency is decentralized, the information is not stored at one place. Which means that even if I hack into one server and change the value, the other server will detect that that value is wrong because they have the majority of the other servers having the same value and only one giving a wrong value. And then the thing will balance and then you have a normal value of your money. So this kind of thing cannot happen with cryptocurrency. And if that wasn't enough, the crypto in cryptocurrency stands for encrypted, which means that all of the information stored are also encrypted. So you can just you can't just go and read them. Cryptocurrency is available worldwide, which means you can start by owning your own cryptocurrency wallet right now. Yet Africa didn't really embrace the concept, so it isn't mainstream. But this technology has been impacting the whole world. Companies like PayPal are already investing in cryptocurrency. This island called the Moto Island in the Pacific Sea has been rebaptized Blockchain Island. And companies like Binance have already moved their headquarters to that island to take advantage of it. Visionaries like Elon Musk and Bill Gates have already given opinion, positive opinion on the concept and are supporting cryptocurrencies. When other CEOs like Warren Buffett disagree, strongly disagree, and says that cryptocurrency are platforms for criminal activities. Yet, you must note that Microsoft does not accept cryptocurrency as a means of payment. So it says a lot about how Bill Gates is supporting cryptocurrency by staying on the safe side of it. Cryptocurrency is evolving and we can already see that with the purchase and creation of NFTs and the development of the metaverse. 
if you've never used a cryptocurrency before well i suggest i suggest that you start by investing a small amount maybe twenty dollars into buying like cheap coins like um dodge coin or polygon to start and get familiar with how to manage your wallet how to purchase coins how to buy things with coins and then get familiar with the technology because i'm sure it's gonna be a must very soon well that's it for me guys thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up put in the comment section if you might consider investing into cryptocurrencies or if you already have what cryptocurrency do you use my name is kevin this was mr purple tech don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Annyeong!